Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reichland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great, twin-tailed comet that some priests warned was nothing less than a hammer of Sigma. They preached tidings of doom and repentance, but their sermons were ignored. An attitude of rebellious revelry gripped the city as the comet grew ever nearer. The grand festival to celebrate the turn of the year was a mockery of the apocalyptic prophecies. It was then that the hammer fell. The fiery comet plowed through the city, gouging a deep crater in the midst of the poor quarter. The wondrous palace of Count Steinhard was broken. The grand amphitheater shattered. The vast great library blighted by a pall of ash. Fire and smoke decimated the populace, but worse awaited the survivors. A malignant corruption that brought with it mutation and madness. The vile taint of chaos. In the shattered city, strange green-black stones were discovered. Strange energies emanated from these shards. Warlocks and alchemists experimented with these word stones and soon determined that their uncanny properties could work wonders. Word stone could heal the sick, regenerate the old, or even turn base metal to gold. Lust for Wordstone focused avaricious eyes upon ruined Mordheim. Treasure hunters descended upon the city, vying with both mutated horrors that claimed the ruins as their own, and crusading zealots who sought to prevent the taint from spreading. Inhuman creatures filtered into Mordheim, staking their own claims. An endless pilgrimage of the greedy and ambitious fighting and dying in a place now called the City of the Damned. Just another day in the city of the damned. Well, hello there. <clears throat> I want to welcome to Mordheim, city of the damned. In case that whole, you know, intro didn't uh, didn't clue you in. But it's playing Fable, getting back into recording, and this is a game I don't think I've ever recorded, but I've had a lot of fun with. Had a lot of frustration. These are the only two I have currently. I think this was my first one. But yeah, <laughs> I haven't played it since 2016. That's my main one with my fucking unbreakable commander who is like as tanky as is possible to be in that game. It's pretty great. Um, I've deleted a lot more both just recently because I just wanted to clear it and because I've just gotten raffle stomped. This game is it's kind of like how, how the first Vermintide, the second one is kind of too, but the first one down to the HUD, it was essentially Warhammer Fantasy Left for Dead. This is sort of Warhammer Fantasy XCOM. So if you like the XCOM kind of games, uh, you might enjoy this. Let's get in. I have all the DLC. I have the Witch Hunters, which I don't have. I actually got rid of mine for thinking why I do this. Yeah. 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 I don't like the Skaven, and I don't feel like being the vampire. <laughs> I haven't been the cult of the possessed for a uh, for a long time, so I don't know. Wouldn't mind. Yeah. Yeah. I love doing that. Uh.
<laughs> eh. I'll go, with, I'll go with the witch hunters. Witch hunters are cool. Oh yeah, because of the thing I've because I've gotten one of my mercenaries, I can start it high up. Gaze I don't upon like to, this though. blighted place, my brother. Has such abomination ever been visited upon Sigmar's glorious empire before? Well, can I understand those who would hearken to the claim that we are being punished for straying from his light? Forgive me, brother. I forget I to like introduce to myself. To this for a fucking, I am High uh, Capitula, Wilhelm Krieger. You know, Long has my family sent its sons to serve the Order of the Silver a, Hammer. A lot of, uh, a lot of I felt called to a different path. The intro, my explanation. And took the odes of this. the Order of the Anvil. So I'm gonna skip. The ways of our God are many. It's been on screen long enough for you to easily pause it and, uh, you know, do stuff. This is the veteran system where basically you doing stuff has, uh, earns you veteran skill points that you can do for shit. Ten percent is fine. Uh, let's see. I don't think their minions, the base minions, flagellants can't wear any armor, and other, and their dudes can, and uh, the zealots can only wear light. That's very good. Is one of the main things you do is uh, you have to fulfill Wordstone shipment requests. If you fail, I think four, your campaign ends. So getting three extra days with which to do that, very useful. Uh, cloth armor. I'm mostly gonna. I might not have any flagellants for now. Usually don't start with them. Uh, great weapon smith. Where's the regular weapon smith? A free, free one handed weapon, which is what I'm gonna do. And there go those skills. So now I have to recruit people. So there's a leader, and a, there's two base hero slots, and there's two extra hero slots. So you could have four heroes, plus your five minions, and your leader for a total of ten. Or you could use both of these slots to get an impressive. I don't actually know what the, um, what the uh, impressive is for, uh... Damn it. I don't know what the impressive is for the, uh, witch hunters, but I know it's... For the mercenaries, it's an ogre. It's a... It's a rat ogre for the, uh... For the skaven... A crypt horror for the vampires, and a dark beast, something, something like that. So I could get a knight, and I also DLC people. So these guys. Okay, what can they do? Divine spellcaster. So they have divine wrath. Uh, they can wear heavy armor and use great weapons. I think for now I'll I'll take a heavier guy. And I'm totally gonna go into like customizing all these guys, but I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that. So here's that, and now I can do all the other shit. I can go to the shop, buy uh, some starting gear. I think everyone's got a shield buy a spear because different things see they, they have different abilities and such flails give 10 hmm. keep an eye on that great flails even give plus 5 anyway oh so these guys start with spears okay that's very good because spears give uh, initiative, so they, and they have quick and nimble, so they have, they bypass dodge and parry chance. 
Okay, now here's the thing. These guys, they don't have any armor. Their dodge chance is already higher than their parry chance. And they the only reason they can use parry stance, excuse me, is because of the shield. So what I'm thinking I'll do, take away their shields. So now they have higher dodge chance and they have more initiative. And initiative, it's sort of like D&D, &D, except you don't roll for it every time. It's just your initiative is this, so everyone's initiatives are put together and the higher number goes first. So some, like I think the Sisters of Sigmar and Cult of the Damned and the base zombie minions for the vampires, they generally have lower initiative. Skaven have like higher. Uh, mine's pretty solid right now, but it's kind of nice. Just sort of like, you know, it's initiative, you can you can make the first move kind of deal. How do I... I guess because I don't... Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have bought the flail. I forgot only Sisters of Sigmar can use flails. I'll switch that. Yeah, that dodge chance is fine. Uh... I could sell it. Just gonna get rid of that now. No helmets. War camp, you know, whatever. Campaign. Put multiple missions or pay to send out some scouts. See, the thing is, there, there are different maps, kind of depending on where in the city you are. There's different wood stone amounts, different, like, actual, like, loot amounts. It's also sort of different starting events. Vision of Dread. One warband tight, deploys tightly around the wagon. The others scatter around, like scared by some ghost. Both de design the three strike teams. Both deploy it in, uh, around their wagons or in wide arcs. That kind of thing. It's different, different combinations of such. Uh, some has better wardstone rewards. And it's the only one where I might not be fucked by uh by deployment, right? Because especially when you only Scouts have a few guys, have you have to break them up into like three things. Before and you so can find like them, a heavy heavy fog settles over the There's room. only like there's I'm like three to sets of like three uh Your warriors spawn areas on their wagon guys start. and spread out to sweep the area in search so of the foe. You can really get screwed over because only because one of your guys will be on their own. Especially if they don't have to split into three. Could run into like their entire team, and the others are scattered about, so they all get killed before you're, you know, even there. All right, gotta take a look at the map. This is kind of spread out. I don't really like this. And, and by this, I mean the fucking. <laughs> I mean these wordstone spawns suck. Ugh. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, hold on, let's, uh... Now someone else can go with that. I was gonna watch this, this, like... These masses of, like... Flesh? And little, like, uh, boards that have, like, Skaven symbols on them. Or, like, traps that'll just... Fry you, to apply some debuff, or just do some straight damage when you get close. It also interrupts your movement, which is based in meters. So if you've moved enough to take a point like that, and something would interrupt me, I would lose all that movement. It's kind of shit, you know? I don't like it. This game is very fun, but there's a lot of things in it that'll, uh, that'll piss a person off. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Oh, hey, no, uh. That. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. I probably. See, that's, pro that's one of them. 
Stepping on that, that would probably hex me or something. Okay. Yeah, there's enemy turn, which we, I don't know what they are now. I think they're cult of damned, uh, good looking at the names. But pretty much once they're uh I'm probably gonna wanna go up and around this way. I don't wanna I don't wanna split my guys up. It's a bad idea. But that they if they enter your view, you might not actually catch them, but once they enter your view, it'll change their icon to be the, the sort of whatever their unit card is, and you'll be able to see them on the map if you can see them. Or, I think if they get close enough, you can detect them, and it'll show their card, but there'll be a question mark, so it's like, you know that it's this, but you don't know where that is. Kind of deal. So I imagine, by the looks of those, those are stakes. Well, not like they're, cro they're not crossbow bolts. And not like they're daggers or throwing knives. But, I feel like it's got... Oh, there's those are straight up wooden stakes. He's got a satchel. He's got a book. Fucking... I love the witch hunters. They look so cool. Templars aren't bad either. And they're actually good hero units. Because I, I don't know why, but the mercenaries have a hero unit called a champion. And I gotta say, the champion is awful. And my experience, every champion I ever get always just gets raffle stuff. Like they get their asses completely whooped all the time. A new round has started. The young bloods are way better. Okay, uh I might be able to make it over there. Oh yeah, I think I could definitely make this over here. Ugh, I can't. But I'm close. Is that where it's done over there? Yeah, it is. I think this map is smaller than I thought it was. No. That's another thing, because the, the percentages in, at some points are uh, complete and utter bullshit. Like, you could have a no the highest chance you can get is 95%. Any, any like, thing that you would technically have over that is really just like, because uh, 95, that, that's your base chance. And then someone else might have modifiers that it's like, you know, makes it harder. So the higher you ratchet your thing over 95, the more modifiers someone has to have to actually bring it below 95, kind of deal. But you could have like an 85% chance of getting up those uh, those little climbs, and you could fail them like three times in a row. Like, it's one of the funniest, yet at the same time, most infuriating things ever. And I... I think it goes up by 10% chance each time. So normally it's like, yeah, 55, you fail. 65%, you fail. 75%, you fail. And you're like, fuck. And you lose like 6 to 8 health each time. So especially earlier on with squishier dudes, like, you lose almost 30 health trying to climb this, like, 8-foot ledge. It's... It's infuriating to have it happen. But I can only assume that it'd be hilarious to watch someone else have to deal with that. Oh, I'm sure I will encounter it at some point during this. Yeah, and honestly, it feels like it's maybe it's just because it's so much slower pace than than my heroic fable run has been going. Oh my god! 
like, I'm gonna be so strong. The arena's gonna be a joke when I get there. Because I... I've already, like, gone over it twice. I think both times from the same video. But that's... It's the most disappointing thing about the heroic difficulty is that it makes it so difficult, but only in the overworld and optional quests. It doesn't fuck with the main story quest. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't, like, m mess with that. It's just, in some ways, I can you know, kind of respect them not wanting to... Not one to touch the main story that's so near and dear to everyone's hearts. But you should have made it tougher. You should have just ratcheted the enemies up, you know, on difficulty level. So I'm fighting the bulkier bandits, the bigger hobs. You know, nymphs are showing up in the areas you got to travel to. Maybe a, the tougher kind, the bigger balverines before... Because I think there's regular balverines and then bigger ones, and then you go white balverines. But, you know, I... just the fucking hob cave i cannot w this even though i'm filming this later i'm the hob cave this or this will almost certainly come up before the uh go up before the hob cave damn man damn you guys don't even know because it's just a new round has started you know how the hordes of hobs just kind of come at you, but they're all the little hobs, even with early weapons. Three or four hits is like the most it'll take to kill them at that point. And you're hitting them in like two or three at a time, so it's, you know, it's not a big deal. I think I may have fucked it up. Hold on. Ah, yeah, I can't go back. Because I, I probably could have gotten that fragment without expending that last movement point, but whatever. But yeah, so they're still in that numbers, but they're the big dark gray hobs with the fucking uh, two-handed hammers. And, oh my god, I just had like a regular ass iron katana. I, ugh, it was so, it was, it was so fun, but it was the most intense that game has ever been for me. It was glorious. Alright, so, everything's fine. I'm gonna be able to get that stuff. I, I think I need to, uh... I have no idea. Well, actually, hold on. They spawn in a wide rim around that cart. Can I see their cart? So they're over there, around around here about. So I'm probably gonna run into them soon. I'm gonna start moving my guy. Because you guys, you guys don't want to hear me talk about things I've already done. Or have done in this game or other games. Just watch me run around and collect shit. You wanna? You hear? You hear? Well, here you're here for the gameplay. So this is part of it. Take it or leave it. Uh, let's get that word stone shard. Conrad von Falkenberg. I actually like. I actually like that name. Normally I change the name of my captain, but actually I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, and as I was right, cult possessed, and at some point, one of them showed up. Oh, I guess it does tell you where they are. He's in danger. He's kind of in danger, but he's a heavy armor hero, so. And again, a number of their bros, a number of their bros do uh, have two heavy yeah. Oh! Ain't got shit on me. Counterattack. Oh, sad face. Oh my god, that worked. <laughs> that almost oh, that spell almost always fizzles, both when I use it and when enemies use it. Leaders have spent an entire turn trying to like amp up like the same dude's fucking weapon. And it fails every time, and it's hilarious. Because sometimes they'll just be so dedicated to doing it, that it'll waste an entire player's turn, or character's turn. Which is good for me. It's very good for me. This fucking... This, this game can be hardcore. Like, to quote Rocky, it'll beat you to your knees, and it'll keep you there if you let it. And honestly, letting it isn't even a 
bothers me how far a down new round has started. But it's <laughs> this game shows no mercy. Behold my solid dodge chance, which means I will probably rarely dodge things. But you know. Gang up on their leader because he'll take the most initiative away from the enemy to get his token. Uh, did I get did I go through here? Yeah, I did. Also, because it's circle based, sometimes you have to you'll, you'll go back and maybe like get angles and shit so that you can get the most amount of distance out of your movement points. <laughs> like you'll retrace your entire steps and like go across the thing multiple times to try and figure out exactly how to get as far as you can. I don't think we're gonna kill him. Crit, please. Oh no, but we got him. Nice. Yeah, all alone tests are sort of that. If, if they can't run away, they'll do nothing, but if they can, they will run, and like D&D, you just run away from a, an enemy in melee combat, they get attacks of opportunity. Uh... Oh! Where's the fragment? Rathmars Objective completed. Objectives yeah, yeah. updated. Uh, okay. Who else do we have to kill? Where do you want me to go? Who do you want me to kill? Hello there! Come at me, slut. Oh, what you got? I have a very high chance to hit. Landed two successful blows. Okay. Uh, yeah. I want dodge chance, definitely. A dodge... Well, chance stance. Stance has a high chance, you know. I already finished my soda before I even started recording. Enough for a counterattack. Dude, rule, you just just go home, man. You're embarrassing yourself. But yeah, as far as turn based games go, this is probably my favorite. So I'm actually normally not much of a fan of, of turn, of this, this kind of turn-based thing, like the old school Final Fantasy turn-based system, I'm not gonna lie, not that much of a fan. I shouldn't have run like that, it's just wasting uh, distance. Never really have been. And like, Lord of the Rings The Third Age, which a new round I'm has started. a massive Lord of the Rings fan. It's probably it's my fa it is my favorite fandom unarguably third age is a terrible game like graphically and mechanically it's not that bad but i don't really like the turn based combat system and with the way especially since it's just kind of times you're fighting turn based in in waves And the significance of that is just because it's always all these massive battles and stuff. It's it's so good for like games like Total War where it's massive armies, you know, Third Age Total War, or like or Battle for Middle Earth, which is an RTS, or even Lord of the Rings Conquest, which is sort of like a a battlefront Middle Earth essentially. It's so good for that, and it's those games are fantastic. I feel like personally. <laughs> It's a bit of a waste to use that, to use like that turn-based thing for Lord of the Rings. Also, the game is completely uh, trash and unoriginal with the dialogue. Pretty much every, like there's some things between like characters that yeah, it's completely original just because it's between two characters that aren't in the movies. But every time they go to an important place or an important thing is happening, they are ripping quotes directly from the movie. <laughs> and just having them say it, and it's 
really, it's just, it's unimaginative, it's unintuitive, it's lazy, and I, I, I really do hate it. it. That's one of the things I've never been, been able to get over. I mean, I, and also, okay, the game is hard in a fun way, though. I got to about Helm's Deep before, uh, that's where I hit my main roadblock, I, I, they just, because you're just fighting waves of Urukai, and they, they'll they just get turns to just wail on you. So I always get wear, worn down and killed. I never got past that part, and I, I just kind of fell out with the game, because I wasn't, I was playing it and enjoying it because it was Lord of the Rings, but I, I did have a lot of problems with it. And man... Do you get me talking about different games and genres? And I will go on a rant. I, uh, I apologize. But, you know. Can I, can I get an angle? Can I get an angle to charge? No, I can't. Because he's wearing heavy armor, his movement range is lower. A new round has started. But, oh, I don't. I don't need rules on Divided Token. See, this, this is the main way to play this game. Never split your dudes up. Unless you absolutely have to, never split them up. These guys came at me one or two at a time when I had my full force, and that and they got slaughtered. Because that's what's happened. If you split your dudes up, you will come across most of their team. I, I mentioned it earlier with the some of the uh, deploy things. I always try to pick missions that let me deploy my guys close together because it's super dangerous. And it's just a bad idea. Like, you are gonna have a bad time. I'm actually not gonna do that because he might not have an angle to run away. And I want him to run away because those three will probably kill him. What if I do? I think. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. See if he will run away, and if I can catch him, and just in case they don't kill him. <laughs> Boom. I hope it's, I hope it's my one of my players' turns because uh, once their morale is low enough, they have to fill, uh, run a test. Okay, it is. Cause I need I need to grab his token. I'll grab that because having those two will give me more, more bonus than having two. Objective completed. Because uh, yeah, I highly doubt that they're gonna pass this. They're... Wait, where's this guy? Apparently, he's right here. Oh, he's up there. I'm like looking for him at street level. Like, where the fuck is he? Eh, I'll storm the house. This is not the right house. I don't know how to get up to you. Ambush stands at below the drop. Oh, I mean, it's gonna end. Yep, enemy route test failure. No one ever passes unless it's the enemy and they pass it at the worst possible moment. Like, you need them to break. Like, you. Like, they've been taking Relentless their guys out as much as you've been taking their guys. These are the virtues of a witch hunter. And. You never know, rest you, in you your finally pursuit get them of the with critical morale and one of your guys no is dead, to the heritage. Then they'll succeed and then they'll take out one of your guys. And, it, and then you lose because your guys can't pass it. Which is, uh, it's pretty rough. And you get experience for shit, which will give you different advancements. You can upgrade your bros in different ways, get different items. So clusters, shards, fragments. One gold crown. Literally one gold. And then you, got, you gotta pay them after every mission, or pay to have them healed if they're injured. So, I think this is 
I think this has been a, a fair, a fair decent length intro to the game. Uh, I might play another mission or two. Maybe not right now, because the call to fable is here. But I wanted to. I still have several videos from when I was kind of recording stuff like a year ago, and I didn't name them, so I don't really know what they are or if I've if I've uploaded these some of some of them and they're just I just never got rid of them. But I just don't want to upload stuff from that long ago. Kind of want to start fresh, start new. Uh, so probably gonna dabble in a bunch of different games, upload Fable every other day. In the days between, I'll upload probably just about anything. So, I don't know if this will show up again, but if it does, until next time.